this time of unprecedented weirdness. I have been able to explore more, a genre that I have long had an interest in, the indie space. One of the advantages of being independent is the luxury of doing whatever you please. And I strongly believe for a creative, an artist, regardless of what it is you do, painting, music, filmmaking, whatever, I strongly believe creative freedom to express your true self is paramount. And this is where indie games get to shine. An indie game will be released with 8 or 16 bit looking graphics, released in a 2D art style or various other retro looking styles. And it is warmly welcomed by the gaming community simply based on its creativity, its storytelling, its overall execution without a huge budget. We see more of that here in this gem I found on itch.io. Let's hear what you have to say. Time Out is a game developed by Christopher Lee as a university final project at the School of Arts, Design and Media, Singapore. And although it's just a school project, it's a very impressive one. I wish the developer much success and do hope he pursues his passion, as I'd love to see this game grow into something more. It clearly pays homage to games like Bioshock. I can tell by the gloomy aesthetics and the dialogue. The story of Time Out is, you're a private eye living in a world where the currency is time. We've seen this concept in film before, but it's played out pretty well in this short story. You receive a call from a lady who asks you to help her solve a case of fake time. Her husband bought time at a too good to be true price and ended up paying for it with his life, as the fake time comes with an expiry date. The story, all good and well, but I was drawn to this game by the visuals. The art style is amazing. I'm not one on the pixel art retro styled wagon. I personally had my feel of retro when retro wasn't retro. So for the younger gamers, I get it. Retro is an interesting novelty. For the older gamers who love the whole Shovel Knight, Axiom Verge thing, I also get it. For nostalgia. But me? If I said I was one of the aforementioned, I'd be lying. I'm very impressed with these visuals regardless. The blend of that old school pixel style with some high res modern looking textures. Particularly the ground. Hats off to you, Mr. Lee. But with all bias aside, a good game is a good game. And this little indie gem is great. Even the voice acting, as B-movie as it is, still works. I've heard piss poor acting in games which had an actual team and budget. So however the dev managed to pull off the voice acting, be it he did it all himself with friends or whatever, good job. All right, I have only five hours. That is all I can pay you. The controls are also surprisingly good, not the tightest, but the ability to move within the 2.5D space was an unexpected treat. I thought by just looking at it that timeout was strictly 2D. There was at least one spot where I believe the audio was a bit unbalanced, where the music should have been a bit lower as it was overpowering the dialogue. But maybe that's just a matter of what I was playing it on. 10 years of fake time? What is fake time when what you see is real? I would love to see this game fleshed out into something more. I enjoyed my 20 minute playthrough, but if this was made into something more, same style, just longer, I'd gladly buy it. Go check this gem out on itch.io and show your support by contributing to the developer. AAA games are all well and good, but many times, if you'd like a truly unique experience, one off the beaten path, then the indie scene is where you want to be. Show your support for independent game developers. Most if not all indie games are priced relatively low. Some are even free with the option to donate, so there's really no reason to pass. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If I piss you off for some reason, then we all know where to find the various hate buttons, don't we? Either way, I won't hold it against you. Our game is never over. All right, I have only five hours. That is all I can pay you.